In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create and work with frame text. I'm going to start with one of the Page Plus theme layouts, which you can open from the Startup Wizard. I'll begin by editing and formatting the title text. To do this, I simply click and drag to select the text. You can also double click to select a word and triple click to select a paragraph. Now I just type my own title. To apply formatting, use the controls on the text context toolbar. Now let's look at the text frames containing the body copy, or story. As you can see, this text is contained in two separate text frames. First, I'll delete this rightmost frame. Let's now change this single column frame into a two column frame. I'll resize the frame first. Notice that the text expands to fill the frame. Now on the text context toolbar, all I have to do is set the column number to two. You can access advanced frame properties such as gutter and padding options by clicking frame setup. I'll add drop caps to my first paragraph. I click anywhere in the paragraph, then click format, drop cap. Choose my drop cap type and click OK. Let's look at linking text frames. When I select this text frame, notice the button at the bottom of the frame. This tells me that the frame is not linked and there's no overflowing text. Now if I copy and paste a section of text, two different buttons display, auto flow and overflow. These tell me that there is too much story text to fit in the current frame. Let's link this frame so that the text flows into the empty frame on page two. To do this, I just click the autoflow button. Page Plus asks me if I want to link to the frame on page two. The frames are linked and the hidden overflow text from the frame on page one now displays on page two. Now I'll show you another way to create linked frames on the fly. First, I'll copy and paste another section of text so that the text overflows again. This time, I'll click the overflow button. Now on page three, I just click and drag to draw a new frame. The overflow text fills the frame. Again, I'll change this to a two column frame. Now let's add a pull quote to the right of the page. On the text frame flyout, I'll choose a standard text frame, then click and drag to draw my new frame. To apply a background color to the frame, I select it and then on the swatches tab, I click the fill button and I can apply any color I want, but I'm going to choose one of the scheme colors displayed at the bottom of the tab. For demonstration purposes, I'll just fill the frame with placeholder text. But to add your own text, just start typing. Or to import a text file, click Insert Text File and then browse to your file. You'll find more details on these options in the online help. Now, to apply a style to my text, I just choose a text style from the drop down list on the context toolbar. These styles were specially created for this publication. But for instructions on creating your own styles, again, see online help. Well, that concludes this tutorial. We hope that you've enjoyed it. You should now be quite adept at working with frame text. Remember that PagePlus also provides artistic text, great for creating eye-catching titles and decorative text effects. For details, take a look at the Creating Eye-Catching Titles video tutorial.